Hi there, uh, this is Karen Holton and I'm here to share some bits and bites with you. Bits and bites are going to be short little uh, podcasts that just have um, information, things I've been thinking about, things that are relevant to what's going on in the world, whatever, whatever. And um, hopefully um, it will help you in some way with your path and with your uh, process while you're here on Earth. So um, the, ca the cancel culture is all about erasing the past as though there was something um, terribly wrong with that way of thinking or that way of perceiving or something like that. Or maybe it caused harm to parts or all of humanity. And so the, ca the um, cancel culture want to go back and erase it. They just want to keep erasing and erasing and erasing. But the problem I have with that is it is only the perceptions that were taken from one perspective. Now, I understand there's been all kinds of horrible things happened in the past and people are all want to erase all of that and bring in the new. And I understand it because our culture does need some tweaking. Our culture does need some work, absolutely. But by canceling old culture is not gonna have the desired effect to improve our current culture. And so I'm just going to reach out here and grab my nubby ball, because uh, this is a tool that I use in the Quantum Health Transformation Program. It's um, a conceptual tool to help you to look at things differently. So if you um, imagine that all aspects of our history are contained uh, on a nubby ball, each little point would be a different perception, a different experience. And there are many, many different kinds of experiences that we've had as humans on this planet. So if we just start canceling this nub or that nub, that's not going to fix anything. But what will fix everything is when we take a look at what the dominant philosophy was as being a point, what the opposite might be, and then taking a look at the myriad of options that are around what we would call the equator of a nubby ball, which is a sphere. And that gives us the most information about what else is possible um, within our culture. And so what I want to do is recommend that you look into counterculture. Counterculture is realizing there's things that are wrong with our current culture and coming up with innovative and um, interesting ways that we can do things differently in the now. And when we course correct in the now, we don't have to worry too much about the past because when we course correct in the now, we're ensuring a better future tomorrow. And so there doesn't have to be one right way of doing things and one wrong way of doing things. That's very binary and that's obsolete. And so now we need to start working with our nubby balls because our nubby balls are a much closer representation of the greater reality. And we can come up with so many options of cult, uh, counterculture. So an example of counterculture was back in the 60s and 70s, people started returning to natural foods. People started growing their own foods. People started to um, 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 lessen their reliance on institutions and things that the institutions have told us we need to do or should do or you know all of the things that we're finding out today is that pretty much everything we've been taught is horse crap and so um, we need to find some counterculture and I'm going to tell you something else nobody has to prove their counterculture nobody mm -mm. because what happens is if you introduce counterculture and it's something that is going to be juicy and sweet to humanity, you better believe everyone's going to migrate over and test that out. People are going to try it. People are going to leave the obsolete. They're going to leave the broken and the things that just don't serve us anymore. And they're going to gravitate to what really works. 
So I can't tell you this counterculture or that counterculture is the solution. Perhaps it's a combination of a whole bunch of different counterculture philosophies. But the thing that I, uh, that I really want to stress here is that if you've got something yummy and juicy uh, to share with humanity, get it out there. Make some podcasts. Start telling people about it. And if you've got something that's of worth, people will gravitate to it and it'll take off all on its own. We don't have to worry about cancel culture. Another reason why I don't think that we want to do can uh, cancel culture is because sometimes we need to look at our mistakes to learn from them. And so that's about it for today. It's very short. I just wanted to tell you, consider counterculture rather than cancel culture. I think we'll get a lot further. We'll be a lot happier. We'll certainly be a lot healthier. And that's, that's it for today. Love you.